game. Hey, I think Evan's uh, win loss is wrong. I think he's, you need to change that. He's 2 0. Oh, he's 2 0? Oh. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, he's 1-1 one, one for yeah, sure. He, he's technically, yeah, he's, he's for sure 1-1, one, one, guys. So, <laughs> me, being the nice guy I am, giving... Oh, who did that? How'd you do that? I can't predict on my own stuff? That's not fair. Uh, That's no, cold. you should be able to... Oh, I mean, you might not be able to. I made it, but mods who uh, predict can't choose the outcome, so... Oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. Well, in any case, we have Brandon versus Evan right now. Brandon is on the up pair at the moment versus Evan. When you play in a 10 round tournament where there's, or sorry, 10 player tournament when there's not that many players to, um, you know, really pull from, the match losses and all the percentages and stuff like that get really messy. So players have a chance of getting up paired or down paired very often. Um, especially if you lose early, then stuff like this can happen too, or, you know, this. So right now, this is a situation where Brandon needs to win to continue going on, where Evan can afford to take a loss here. Brandon, trying desperately to stay in this tournament. Starting his turn with the RCSV, benching the speed doof, attaching the energy, and just passing. And, uh, Evan, popping off right now. Capture energy. Finding that tad. Or, sorry, did he open the low tad as well? Yeah, so he opened, or sorry, he captured energy into the low tad, and then he's using keep calling to get these three sobbles. So, crack turn yep. from Evan. Good way to start it. Terrific. Ben, what are you doing, bud? I didn't even know there was a mod view, so I'm figuring out what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh good, my good god. Good mod we got right busted. there. Alright, he's incensing for the V-Star. Speaking of busted, this bib roll coming out, and then a evolution incense to grab the V star. We're gonna see some cracked star birth plays this turn, chat. Let's see, he can ultra ball out here. In case we Does forgot what RC's V star did, here it is on the uh, screen for you. Just keep that card on the screen. Yeah, like we don't regional need to know other what, are, what do the other cards do exactly, right? Who cares? It's all about all right. RCS right now. So he's gotta get the other Arceus to get the three energies. Do we see the Zapdos in deck? I do not see it. I would like to see it. Nah, uh, just that crazy RCS V art. <sighs> yeah, that gold plated 24 carat. Yeah, look at that V star, the secret rare. Let's see, look, let's, let's see what it's at now, actually. I'm curious for myself. Oh, we were doing some price hunting while you were taking a nice little break downstairs. It's probably like 30 oh, Sonic man. rings right you. now. Probably. Sonic rings? All right. I, mean, I say 37 Sonic I don't know, rings. dude. I think it's, uh... Oh, wait, the gold specifically? The gold one? Yeah, that, no, it's it's 58 Sonic yeah, rings. Yeah, that, yeah, that sounds about right. 58 yeah, Sonic that sounds rings. sounds about right. I Honestly. think a regular is just shy of Jeez, 40. imagine getting hit by, like, one of those little turtle things. Like, right now, you'll just, like, spray coins everywhere. Or mm -hmm. rings, rather. It's just... It'll be a mess, dude. You're gonna have to, like, jump yeah, around really quickly up. to pick them all back up, dude. You're oh definitely not getting god, all Oh my god, the turn! And this the turn, taking... out? Yeah, yep, oh my taking gosh. Taking care of that low tad early on is almost necessary. So the reason why this prizes. is... Oh, the reason why this is necessary, chat, is because... Lotad evolves into Ludicolo. Ludicolo is what allows us to do 100 more damage with our basic Pokemon. Evan really needed this to hit that 280 threshold on the Arceus because right now Brandon is playing with a low bench, knowing that Blizzard Rondo's damage is amplified by bench, um, by bench being, uh, oh my gosh, by the bench being filled. And uh, if you leave him with just two Mons on your side, that's a lot more stretching that they have to do as the Suicune Inteleon player, where they they're gonna need the. Uh, the Ludicolo. So right here, Brandon cutting Evan off from that. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard for him to come back with Brandon having such a big board already set up here. Brandon's essentially only going up from here and Evan has a lot of work he needs to do. Yeah, this Brandon, is definitely gonna be an uphill battle. Brandon has a Marnie in hand. Oh, and he has the Zapdos in hand. Fantastic. Brandon, absolutely looking like you and McGregor right now saying, I have the high ground! And then Evan's just like, bro, I'm done for. Just, what do I do? These Dude, are, are you saying us. that Evan's just sitting there burning in lava, telling uh, Brandon how much he hates him? Oh my god. 
Well, he's playing. He I is mean, there's playing a, lot of a water, water deck. He is playing a That's water. He's burning in water. He's burning in water. This water is scalding right now. Evan, look at like a gastrodon on camera. Of that Raihan, though. Taking big advantage of that uh, Raihan. Getting the sweet. only thing he really can do. Paying that retreat cost, we're gonna float right into the Suicune V. Scoop up net, picking up the Sobble, gonna evolve right back into this next Drizzile. Shady dealings, probably finding us a. Oh, okay, level ball. I don't know if he had the other energy already in hand. Level ball, we'll find us a low tad. We need to get these tads back online quickly. But we do know though. If Evan whiffs knockout here, which it's kind of looking like he might just because of the way the board is set up at the moment, Brandon does have here. Sharon's care. Yep. Isn't it isn't it impossible even with Max Bench right now? Well, if he, if he had if he had the if the Lotad didn't get knocked out last turn, he could have technically evolved and uh, gotten close to knocking out. No, he would have but... for sure. Yeah, without the Lotad, I think. Uh, is it for damage on when he evolves? Uh, he would have had Ludicolo choice belt. Would have been fine. Yeah. Because yeah. Does he have that two, choice four, belt in six, hand? Eight, ten, 12, 14. He does not. He does not have that choice belt in hand. So yeah, we do but just see. He does see... have two evolution intenses. Which can't help a lot. God, that Zapdos is so pretty. I feel like we're probably he probably just grabs Moltres if anything right here. Um. I don't know. Brandon definitely wants to, to heal him. this Arceus. That's that's his goal right now. He wants to find some way to find Sharon's care. So here's Arceus V-Star. Uh, I don't know if Brandon has actually used his ability yet. I don't think he has. He has. Okay, he has. He has used the V-Star ability. That's how he got the 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 double colorless. Okay. Whatever it's called now. And I think he got another card as well from it. But Viverl. We're gonna draw two off of uh, Industrious Incisors. We see Dark Energy and Ultra Ball entering the hand. Um, I mean, will one of these cards turn into a fish and the fish will find us the Sharon's Care? If not, Brandon will just forfeit this Arceus V-Star to Evan, but he will go up. Uh, or actually, there is gonna be no knockout done here either. Okay, so here's a Marnie. He plays the Marnie. He doesn't bench the other Arceus. We see two energies. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to see a retreat from this other Arceus here. Does not find the next V-Star. Do you retreat him though, or do you, do you just leave your active because you uh, want to avoid like a, a sneaky double knockout later? I mean, if I'm Brandon, I'm probably retreating out of this, yeah. He had yeah. an escape rope in hand before he marnied, or uh, he discarded yeah, but he doesn't, he, he doesn't. He doesn't want, yeah, he doesn't want to get, yeah. he doesn't want that act out of the active, Evan just, just in case Evan just gives him Sobble, yeah, exactly. So Arceus is going to hit him with a power. Okay, so the V-Star was found. So we're going to do 200 yep. damage with Trinity Nova. We had the V-Star before we martied. Uh, he got that off of the... Um, he ultra, er, ultra Balled earlier and got it. Okay, true, true, true. And that is what he got with the Ultra Ball. So big damage on the Suicune right now. The Cape of Toughness keeping it nice and healthy. Ready to go for a whole other turn of attacking. Uh, Evan... The line of play we're looking for this turn. So let's count up the damage on Blizzard Rondo before Ludicolo damage. So we have 20 from the active base, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. So if we hit the Ludicolo, we are hitting 280 damage exactly. Brandon benching that Beedoo Flask turn. I don't know if I would have done that because this gives him exaxes, as they say. But it doesn't matter anyways, uh, even if Brandon did bench it, because Brandon's thought process here is like if he hits the Driss or if he hits the Inteleon from Chilling Rain, he still gets a 20 damage anyways and it would not matter. Nice voice crack at the end to finish that matter. point. Crammy, looking like he's in puberty still at the age of 27. What's going to be the next turn? Shady dealings from Drizzile. Ooh, one piece of cross switcher, Evan is saying this Suicune is not going down without a fight. This is fine, because he does want this Suicune to be knocked out here to free up space on his bench for the next Suicune. So let's see if he has another piece of cross porter in his hand. Evan does in fact have it, but we also see that, um, okay, so one water to the Lotad. 
interesting choice. He needs it so he can retreat because cross is going to make him Guzma. He's paying the retreat cost on the low tad to retreat back into his Suicune. And uh, for those of you at home that don't know what Cross Porter does, Cross Porter is a card that says you need to play two of this card in order to use its effect. If you play two copies of Cross Porter at the same time, you can Guzma is the effect of it. So you can switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active, and then you switch your bench with your active. Very cool card. It's a reason. Uh, the big reason for this these uh, cards being in the deck is uh, one of the big reasons why Suicune and Teleon would struggle back in the days because it couldn't Melanie and Boss in the same turn. So here you go, that's how you do it. Cross Porter plus Melanie, you get two supporters in one turn, effectively. Speaking of two supporters, Palpad, gonna shuffle two back from the discard pile, back into Brandon's deck. Picking Marnie and uh, Boss. Marnie up. Yep. The most what is, uh, what is a stadium played down by uh, Brandon? What stadium is that? That is Training Court. Training Court is a stadium that says once per turn, Either player could pick up a basic energy card from their discard pile and put it back into their hand. Seems pretty important for this deck. That seems like it's going to run through a bunch of energy. So good, especially when you need specific ones like the fighting every now and again for your Galarian Zapdos. You know, you can discard it early freely and not have to worry about getting it back because Training Court is there to suffice that for you. Brandon. Brandon getting back all of his eggs seat. in one basket. But we do see the Sharon's care in his hand too, so it, there is one. There's a hundred percent chance that Evan will more than likely miss knockout on this following turn because let's count the damage too. So coming in next turn, if Evan hits every single star in the constellation above him, let's see, he needs two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So he'll need Inteleon from Chilling Rain damage, and he'll need the Ludicolo, and he'll need Melanie. He'll need to do all of these things and have the Suicune as well to do this massive play on his next turn to just take out this Arceus and move down to two prizes. So here's a knockout here. Yeah, he's still going to need a lot even with all of that because he takes out the knockout. He did instead uh, play the supporter. What supporter is that uh, that gives you two uh, basic po or two Pokemon Quara. and two energy from your discard? Clara. Very broken supporter. No energies left in deck searching one off the attack. Alright, here comes Inteleon with the Shady Dealings times two. Let's see, there's, there's a quick ball to search for the Suicune right there. Evolution Incense as well to get the Ludicolo. Let's see how cracked out Evan's turn is right here. Oh, instead actually going for the Aqua Bullet. Oh, sorry, never mind. I thought he was attaching that water. He's uh, paying it for discard. So, here's Suicune hitting the bench. I think it's crazy that Suicune lets you draw a card, man. <laughs> Nuts card, <laughs> yep. bro. Like, they were like, yo, this attack's pretty good. What do we do? Let's just Don't make all three card. of the legendary dogs have that? And all three and, legendary uh, dogs yes, have that yes. ability. Yep. We yep. do like our dogs. The Burn Tower Trio. All finally out to chill in our current standard format. And all of them are relatively playable too. And I really like that. I haven't seen a format yet where all three of the dogs are playable at the same time. Yeah, if only we had a better fire deck for the better Entei. <laughs> Fair. I mean, there's a pretty cracked out expanded deck with it that i believe all right so here's the evolution incense evan is popping the heck off right now this is unreal i named like 20 cards evan needed and he's about to find every single one of them it was unfortunate that uh brandon wasn't really in a position to be able to change evan's hand because i think that would make this turn a lot different but Ooh, he... the big charm too i didn't even realize that that's actually massive here Big Charm adding 30 more health to your uh, Pokemon that it's attached to. Uh, yep, so that's going to take a lot. Down. Yep. Massive Charm. Absolutely massive Charm right now. Here's a next Inteleon. Evan's cards of choice, the Net, and the Cross Switcher. Let me tell you guys, this week in Inteleon deck, so much searching with it. It's it's massive. Makes a turn take a lot of thought into it. 
There's the attach return. Double cross switchers. This will ensure Evan getting another knockout this one to keep up the race. Switching into his Suicune for free, bringing up that other Arceus with the one energy attached to it. I'm going to draw a card off the Fleet Footed. We see another Drizzile enter his hand. So here's a Candy. There's a Ludicolo. Okay, so we attached energy already for Melanie earlier in the turn. That's why I was in the discard pile. Picking yep, up the low tad, scooping it up. And then another Rondo for knockout here. Evan moving down to just two prize cards remaining. Brandon still chilling at three. Not out of this yet. Now this turn two is pretty big. Uh, 200 damage is what... RCS V Star has available to it right now. Taking a peek at our uh, Suicune. Suicune has 210 HP. So at the moment, Brandon doesn't really have a way to get it one shot here onto the Suicune because he did commit this big charm to the active RCS V Star, but he needed to do that and to ensure that uh, Evan just didn't target that thing down. So the double-edged sword of uh, tools. You know, you, you you always want you always want the be, the, the the choice belt or you know the baby choice band when you need it the most. But baby Moltres. This is another card that is pretty massive. Training cord is still available to us. We can pick up a dark energy from the discard pile. We don't know what else is in Brandon's hand currently. Oh my God! He already has two in his hand. Yeah, bro. This actually is gonna be nuts right now. Then we have. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he can just retreat to put the energy back in his hand, too. Retreating. Court, pick up that energy. Reattach it. This baby Moltres is absolutely cracked. And and all our cross switchers are used at this moment in time, so only one prize available in the active for Evan, even if he has a crazy turn. Does he put the deck does uh, play boss? I don't think it does, so yeah. there it is. The attack off baby Moltres unreal crazy turn yeah that card is absurd brandon chilling at one prize card remaining evan at two what can we do here do we play a boss's orders in the deck no but we play melanie yeah this is not looking good for evan i i don't i don't know the format too well but uh... From what I understand, he's seen this deck twice tonight, and I watched the regional where Finn played it. If Evan is playing that exact 60, I think he's definitely in a tough spot right now where maybe he takes the knockout and we still don't have a one-shot from the Arceus, like you stated last turn, Mark. I think that's probably Evan's plan right now. Um, that's what he's hoping for. If there's any way for Brandon to get any of Evan's Pokemon up in the active the next turn, it's going to be rough because he's sitting on that one prize card, so it doesn't matter what Pokemon, he just needs to take out one. So something that's big here, too, is uh, this will actually probably be Brandon's final turn. Next turn, he needs to find a way to take the knockout here and just end it, because if he doesn't, then yep. uh, Evan has a setup on the following turn. So you will see Evan just swing in here, like we said. There, there is a world, too, where Evan just passes. Okay, never mind. Gonna pick it up with uh, Scoop Up Net. Bro, you're the nerd, bro. What up, what up, Jeff? What up, Jeff? Shout out, Jeff Chris. Yo, what up, Jeff Chris, my dog? Takes a knockout onto the Moltres. Let's see. Does Brandon have the stones? Does he have the boss's orders? Training court. Able to grab the energy. Do we have the bosses for game? Sharon's care, and we, we do. do. Brings up the Lotad for measure. Brandon moving up to two 